everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Georgia and today I'm going to be watching season 2 episode 2 of Life Unexpected. If you want access to the uncut reactions, the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. So the season 2 premiere was all guns blazing, all bars blazing, bla- I nearly called him Blaze. Baze's bar went up in flames because his new bartender lit a cigarette indoors and she chucked it in a trash can after he slept with her, by the way. So it set fire to the whole place. Everyone thought that Lux was in there, so Baze went in to save her and then he ended up in the hospital, but it turns out Lux was out with this guy that she met to go and see the ocean. <laughs> It sounds like a fever dream when you when you say it all together. Like it's just such a mesh of stuff. She kissed him. He turned out to be her teacher. The girl that started the fire turns out to be Ryan's sister. So there's a lot of there's a lot of messy love triangle stuff coming up there. Bug and Lux broke up because he proposed and she doesn't want to get married. And then he was annoyed that she said no because she said yes first which you know that she shouldn't have done that because it got his hopes up i think this might be the end for bug and lux i feel like it has been a long time coming i don't mind bug now like he doesn't annoy me as much now as he did at the start but i just still i don't think they're right for each other i think that i think she feels obligated to stay with him because he's her first love but First loves aren't always meant to last, so I think she needs to let him go and move on with Jones, not with her teacher. And Kate got fired from work because evil Trina is back and she's brought in this virgin pro-marriage person called Kathy. She said that she was going to be the co-host with them, but they've just pushed Kate out completely and... So now it's going to be the Ryan and Kathy show. So oh, that's so unfair, man. She's just lost her job and it's not like Ryan can quit as well because they won't have any income. It is their show after all. Like, how can they do that? Did they? Re did the viewers really hate Kate that much or is that just Trina talking? Start your day with something new. It's the morning minus the madness. Ryan Thomas and introducing his new Minus the Kelly madness. Campbell. That's so savage. Wow. You traded up. Kelly's a hoot. You know what? Maybe I should just pretend to be a virgin. I mean, that seems to be all the rage. Everything was dirty. Nice boots. Yeah, bitch. Is she dressing up her oh, teacher? You to call her that. You know, it's about time that I see what else is out there, right? I bet you that there is something better right around the corner for both of us. Oh, Lux, don't go after him, please. It's disgusting. Ryan's sister's staying with us. Picturing Ryan in a dress doesn't do it for me. That's good. <laughs> okay, so go. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. <gasps> when he sees her. I mean, he should shower her, to be honest. She started the fire. Did you know that you have a beer stain on your tie? Oh. <laughs> There's nothing more beige than a beer stain oh, on his tie. Uh, sorry, I was, I was just... It's okay, I thought that I locked it. Why are you getting changed in a classroom? Hey. You know you're in the wrong classroom, right? I'm next door. Yes, I, I was just asking Mr. Daniels if he has an extra copy of Great Expectations laying around. Locks. No. <laughs> you gotta be more careful next time. It's the entire midterm. Hell yes, math. Put a stop to this conversation. Oh. It's disappointing that math teaches English and not maths. The problem is, you've always been Kate of Kate and Ryan. Alone, you're a little tougher self. Not impossible. In fact, I do have something. Start immediately at almost your full salary. Yeah. She can still work with her husband that way. I don't know what other jobs are out there, but you need to find me one. It's not producing a show that I was fired from for less money. It is embarrassing though. It would hurt your pride. When Ryan suggested it, I... what? Ryan suggested it? Oh. Uh... <laughs> your daughter is failing out of Westmont. Oh, everything's going wrong. The only good thing is that Baze has got a job for now. <laughs> Someone from the school should have called or sent home a note. Mm -hmm. It's not. Do they not send report cards home? It's that Lux's work has not shown improvement since she arrived here. She needs to pass if she's going to stay at Westmont. 
Otherwise, there are other schools um, in the neighborhood that uh, perhaps operate at a, a slower pace. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh. Face. <laughs> He's sitting in his chair like a two-year-old. Her lowest grade is in English. If Lux has uh. a prayer of scraping by with a C Oh, my God. Semester, oh, I need a teacher to tutor to me. On this Thursday's midterm. Consider it done. We need another speaker at career day tomorrow. You could talk about your successes. You're a radio DJ. You started your own business. It could also show Lux. Could not have been worse timing. Well. Anyone can get A's in high school if they try. Debatable. Sometimes I know the answers on my shoe. <laughs> Crazy in bed and burnt down my bar is all that I've got. He's saying this in the Look, elevator. Imagine if he's the people interviewing does. him. Really, all I need is a check. Nate Basil here to see Emma Bradshaw. I'm Emma. Oh no. You're late. <laughs> what makes you think you'd be a good fit at Fenmore Financial? Same last name as the guy who runs the place. <laughs> oh. Do you habitually sleep with girls without asking their last name? Ah, uh, she was a new bartender. I was in a little bit of a headspace. Mm, so. You have no right to so judge him on that, lady. <sighs> Could we just start this over? Um, would I be correct in that you're 32 and this would be your first real job? He was the owner of a business. That's you know a real job. This company, right? <laughs> I do not like her attitude. You two haven't seen each other all day, so I will go to bases and study. Why don't you just take the practice? There's test? no way she's actually but gonna study. Listen to the study guide. She tried so hard. You know, she I made a card study, and, and a mock exam. Because Mozart, Mozart makes you smart. Ryan, I have been doing this with her all day. I've got it. Scoring me a demotion at the place that fired me is your idea of helping? Don't. She lasted one card. <laughs> Just a mood. Why this is, is he there? Step up and living in the classroom. <laughs> hey, Lux. Sad that Jamie's gone, by the way. Um. You live here? Not really. No, but sometimes, but but barely. He's gonna be everywhere. No. I should probably think about this. I'll give you a call. I get it. Nothing can happen between us, but. We still felt what we felt, right? Oh. What happened with us was a mistake. I'm not here for this storyline. I didn't feel anything. It's a lie. She totally judged me based on a private telephone conversation. We drive a public elevator. You know what? I didn't want that job. Make her give you a chance. You, you built your bar from the wall studs up. You you ran a small business for years. Phase. You majored in economics in college. You need this job, and you need to stop telling yourself the game is lost before you even start. Go math with the pep talks. We think it would be a big hit in the 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. slot. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it's not exactly I the prime the time. Was morning drive time. Well, drive time's more of a two-hander. Okay. Well, then I will just think about it, and I will get back to you. We'd love that. Love that. Really. <laughs> This woman's a people pleaser. What the heck, Emma? <laughs> hey Basil, we met the other day. <laughs> Who knew we were members of the same gym? It's not women's gym. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to put on a suit and tie and analyze financial reports and sit in an office all day because that's what the job is? You're just a guy who doesn't know what he wants to do with his life, so he drinks some parties and is dumb enough to burn down his own bar. He's kind of right, actually. No, just a minute. You think working for a show that fired me is the best I can do? No, of course not. It's what you were doing before we started working together. But it's the only idea that I have that will keep us working together. Really? Then why didn't you quit? Huh? Because that would have kept us together. I fought for you. Obviously not hard enough. Because while your career is skyrocketing, mine is in a free fall. Whoa, that's the angriest I think we've ever seen Kate. No, I feel like he shouldn't quit or shouldn't have quit because there's no guarantee that they'll definitely get a prime time slot somewhere else. That's why to me, the porta potty service is the number one business to be in. It's also the number two business. <laughs> uh, oh, top potty, what a brand name. We spent the whole night together and you said nothing. If I'd known that you were 16, then, then nothing would have happened. Eric, I'm sorry. 
Shall we about this? Because I like the you. School and corridor. I didn't want you to think that I was I was engaged and 16 like I was some screwed up kid. My very favorite radio host, Portland <laughs> Zone, Kate Cassidy. Hi, I'm Kate. Uh, oh from, no. Uh, from Kate and Ryan. Okay, now I am just Kate. Uh <laughs> That's oh no, 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 this is not off to a good start. I'm sorry I'm late, everybody. What are you doing here? Oh, you know, it's career day and uh, you're talking about our careers, so... So, uh, anybody used to listen to us on the radio, K100? Of course, I didn't want the job. What I wanted, and what I've always wanted, was to be on the air. So they put me on, uh, one afternoon. They just the did it? banter with Ryan and I realized I had a lot to learn that instead of being so focused on where I wanted to be I should be ready when I got there this is a lesson to present Kate that is why I wanted to work with her then and that is why I still do Ryan's also good with his speeches him and Matt are the kings I'm trying to be this person everybody expects me to be you know, I'm supposed to be listening to career day and getting my grades up and and thinking about my future, but all I keep thinking about do you is what I keep thinking about. I do. I <laughs> don't want to hear it. That night. Stop it. <laughs> Lux, it was real. How can you leave me on? Lux! You missed a good porta potty speech. <laughs> Thank you for being here today. You know, for being the one person in Lex's life that actually has a career. Quitting. Could have meant anything. It could have meant less money, mm. a new city, a gig that just didn't fit with having a kid. That's why I wanted to help her study. That's why I wanted to do this. Because I just wish that somebody would have asked me to do a career day. Oh. Because I, I want to feel like she's. No, don't cheat. Lux is making all the wrong decisions. I never saw myself as a business guy because I was afraid that I couldn't cut it and I don't want my kid to ever not try because of that. You know, and I'm not about to let another thing I want slip away and you shouldn't let me slip away. I may not have the right resume or credentials, but I'm a hard worker, I'm determined and I'm fearless because believe me, I have nothing to lose. I'd give so him the you job. can hire me or not, that's your call, but you gotta know, I want this job. Oh my god, fire girl. Baze. Fire girl. Yeah. What are you doing here? I've been looking for you. Well, I've been waiting for you to call me. And Baze, Baze is his friend's little sister. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I think I'm gonna have a 95! Oh, yeah. We need champagne, Brian! Come on, you got an A. Oh. Plus Kate's new job at station. Uh, and you guys are looking at a new sales associate. I don't think I could sit through job. that knowing I, I know. cheated. Crazy, right? To Lux, doing what we all knew she could. That feels bad. Lux is um not making the best decisions this season. She's never really been good at making decisions for herself. But this season ain't cutting it. Oh, she's going after a 23-year-old man who's her teacher. And she's cheated on her English midterm. I mean, it lets her stay in the school now, and I know why she did it. I would have done a similar thing, probably, if I had the opportunity. If I saw the answer sheet there, I'd probably try and memorise some of it, I guess. Like, it is an easy option, and I know kids will do that. As an adult now, when you look back, you think, oh god, why didn't you just try a bit harder, you know? I'm more mad about the teacher thing. I don't like that storyline. Teacher-student relationships are always just yuck to me. And I feel like they're trying to make it cute and I don't like it. <laughs> if she was 18, maybe, but she's 16, he's 23, still holding her hand even after he knows. Like how, it's a literal child. How are you not disgusted by it? I really hope he doesn't move in. Her living with two of her teachers would be weird enough, but the fact that they might end up having an affair or something that creates more room for opportunity and I don't want it to happen so I hope he doesn't move in with them not to mention that 
in reliving with her dad as well, which is weird. Kate was in a lot of turmoil about her job this episode. I think she's made the right decision in the end. Ryan came through as he always does with his good advice and told her that taking the producer job is going back, but she's familiar with the job. She's done it before. She got to her radio on air job before so she can do it again. This is just a setback. It's not something to be disheartened by. And him not quitting was because he wanted to do what was best for them. And I understand that. I didn't think that he should quit his job because there's no guarantees that they'll continue getting gigs elsewhere. And like he said, like it could mean them having to move out of Portland, which would be completely unideal for Lux because it would drive her away from Bays or they would have to leave Lux behind if she didn't want to move. So it could have created a lot more problems. So I think he was in the right there. Ryan's always right. I always side with Ryan, to be honest. But he came through with the good advice and that speech. And like, oh, you could see how much he wanted to be involved with family stuff this episode. But Kate was in a mood, so she wasn't letting him. And, you know, he felt a bit left out. She feels left out of the work side and he feels left out of the family side. And they just need to communicate a little better there. And Baze was trying his ass off to get his job. Following that woman around in the gym. <laughs> And he came through. At the end, he said a very smart fact. And it was very confusing for me, for my pea brain. But it actually seems like he is quite smart. Like, I didn't know he did economics in college and stuff like that. So he clearly does have, like, a financial business side to him. We just haven't seen it, I guess. Because he said he's pushed it back and he wanted to be the complete opposite of his dad because he didn't think it was good enough. So he actually is smart and... He has a brain to him, which is surprising. I mean, you know, he's always been smart in his own way. Sometimes. But yeah, he's actually quite intellectually smart, at least in business. It's a very different vibe because, you know, he's always been that laid back, chill dude, party guy behind the bar. And now it'll be interesting seeing him deal with corporate people. I don't know. It's, uh,. That would be interesting. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching my reaction to season two, episode two of Life Unexpected. If you want to watch the episode in its entirety, then the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. But don't feel any pressure, it's just for people that want to watch the episodes along with me. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for episode three. Bye!